and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today we are introducing our set and a partridge. I just love this fun set. It's one of our medium sized sets and it's got lots of cool stuff that's great for tags and holiday cards and also year round too. So let's go ahead and start stamping some of it out. Here. I like to, on these big kind of solid stamps or backgrounds, I like to bring the ink pad to the stamp to make sure I get it covered really well. I'm just doing that. Stamping it in black so it's nice and clear on the video screen here. With solid stamps, I always like to give it a little bit of time. I learned this from my friend Nancy and I always hear her voice in my head. Just be a little patient, let the ink transfer to the paper. A lot of ink has to transfer and lift up and you get a really great image. I just love it. It's so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp out some more stuff. There's a really fun little border builder in this set, and I love it. I love it. It's kind of got this little 60s feel to it, and um, it's great for the holidays, red and green and that kind of thing, but then it looks really awesome year-round because you can really create some cool backgrounds with it. So you could easily extend it this way or do another, you know, another border down like this and keep it going that way. So you could do another one, for example and kind of keep this cool pattern going. It's kind of a lot you could do with that set, so I really like that one. We've got some great sentiments in this set. Season's Greetings, which is great for the holidays. It goes really well with the partridge in a pear tree idea. And we also have My True Love from My True Love Gave to Me in, um, in the uh, 12 Days of Christmas. So it's kind of a cute one. And then this little stamp right here is perfect for Valentine's Day, which is coming up sooner than we think. So it's kind of a cute little one to have. So you could have Seasons Greetings, My True Love, kind of combine them that way, or just use them on your own also. We have a to and from in this set and they're separate, which is great because depending on what kind of tag you might be doing, you can stamp them however you need it. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead, if you were gonna be stamping a lot of tags, you can actually just line them right up on your block. So if I had kind of the traditional to from here, I've got them lined up. And here we go, perfect for a tag and perfect for any type of time of year. I really wanted to have a two from like this so that I can make little, I love making tags for presents and things. I'm really bad at wrapping. So if I make a cute tag, I feel like it makes up for my horrible wrapping job. So here we've got three other little kind of mini elements to this set, which are really fun little background builders or great to just add to a card, uh, just to spruce it up a little bit. This fun starburst here, which works as a snowflake also. A great little music note to go along with the Christmas Carol theme here. Stamp that there. And you can do some really cute stuff, you know, kind of stamping that around the tree like that. I'll put it down here next to our other little one. And then, of course, there's a heart. I love this heart. It's got a great shape to it. Uh, and this is fun for, you know, just like the other ones, creating little backdrops, adding it, you know, little elements like this to a card, which kind of just adds a little something. And here's that heart, and you can just keep repeating it here you know, with the similar idea that we did with the little border stamp up top, and just keep going along. So I wanted to show you a fun way to add multicolor to this large solid stamp. One thing you could do is do something like distress markers and color in each little individual piece, but this is a pretty easy way to do it. So what I'm going to do is start off just stamping in green. I'm going to actually bring the ink pad. So I've stamped out my cute little image in green here. I'm gonna go ahead, and what I've already done was I stamped the top part here in red so I could cut the bird out, and then the bottom part in brown so I could cut the branch out. And what you can do is just layer these really easily. You also could cut out the little pears, but I thought I would just add some yellow with a marker or colored pencil would work. So I'm gonna do that real fast here. Okay, so I'm gonna just glue these pieces down. I love the little pears colored in, and some liquid glue is great for that, because then I can get into all the little nooks and crannies. And now our cute little bird. So now you've got a multicolor versus the solid. I like it both ways. I think it's really cute either way, and it's really easy to do this, because you just have to stamp three times and do a little cutting. 
Okay, so we are going to make a fun, really easy to reproduce tag today. So I've got this piece here. This is two and a half by four and a half, and this one is two and three quarters by four and three quarters. But we're gonna start with this one, and we're gonna heat emboss with silver. So it's gonna it's gonna look beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of stamp this out. And what I like to do with this uh, with this partridge in a pear tree stamp is I like to kind of stamp it off the edge a little bit. I think it adds a little bit of interest to the tag. So it's just not right in the center, you know, just a little different. So there's that. Then we're gonna go ahead and stamp this cute little leafy pattern to add a little something on this side. Right there. And then we've got our to and from, perfect for a tag. We're gonna heat emboss that right up here. So I learned last time that this new mat that I have does not like the heat gun. So I'm gonna take out my old mat that does like the heat gun and put that out there. So you have some silver heat embossing powder and I you know, keep it in these Tupperwares to make it easier. Actually, I actually have a red one that's not in a Tupperware I tried to use earlier and now I've got red glitter all over me. I think forever now because it feels like it's never gonna come off. Okay, so let's get this on there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you can see how pretty that looks. I know in the light there, it looks you can kind of see it better when I do it like this. In person, it looks really pretty. So as that cools off, I want to make the little ring for the hole in the tag um, now. And so what I'm going to do is use, I have a 1 8 punch. So I'm going to use that because that my twine will go perfectly through that. But then I don't have the perfect small size circle punch. I keep meaning to get one, but I just haven't yet. But I have this cute little paw print and this fits just perfectly and it's actually a pretty great circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one of those cute little rings that's gonna coordinate perfectly with my tag. Okay, so now I've got that perfect and ready to go. I am going to kind of cut my little tag part. This is the way I like to do it. I just measure one inch here in and one inch in on each side. I do it on this side too. And then I'm just going to connect my two pencil marks and trim. And then I can just erase any little pencil mark that's left. So once you trim off these and you've got your your you know original piece here going, you can actually use your next piece that you have as a template and then just cut them all that way. So that's a really way, easy way to make these go pretty quickly. Okay, so now we have our other little cardstock piece and we're gonna adhere these together. So now we've got these pieces here together and I'm just gonna eyeball this part here. Just kinda, kinda guess. It's a really quick and easy way to do it. Just like that. Now we've got this great looking little tag with a little border around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the center here. Just using my grid lines here to, to find the center of my little tag. I'm gonna use my 1 8 punch that we used earlier to create that little border and just punch that in the center. Then I've got my little punched out circle piece here and I'm adding some liquid glue and I'm just gonna adhere that down. Okay, so I've got that adhered down. Then I'm gonna take some of the peppermint lawn trimmings, just spin it off, I love how it does that, it's so fun. And go ahead and thread this through my tag. Okay, so I wanted to show you how easy these would be to reproduce. So I've got a really big uh, acrylic block here and I'm gonna go ahead and now that I've got my prototype, I'm gonna line my stamps up with it so I can create the same tag over and over again. So I'm just going like this, lining them up, and you'll see why here in a second. So now I have my placement from my prototype and I can pick up all of the stamps now, have them on my block. Now I've got my two and a half by four and a half and two and three quarter by four and three quarter pieces. And I can easily stamp this part out just like this here, heat emboss it, you know, cut my little parts here and line this up 
just like that. So easy, and you can get some really quick tags done this way. So I love mounting all of the stamps together so that it's just one quick motion to do all of the stamping that you need. So I just love this little tag. It was really easy to make. It's got so much sparkle and shine. I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but it looks so cool in person, and I love how easy it would be to make a whole bunch of these. So this is And a Partridge. It's such a great little medium-sized set that's perfect for the holidays and for year-round, too. We have the great little partridge in a pear tree, of course, and these fun little extras like the Music Note Heart and Starburst, which are great for year-round um, and really great for adding around the partridge in a pear tree. I love this little border here that's a great kind of background builder, also perfect for year-round. Then we've got our Great Sentiment Seasons Greetings and My True Love from the 12 Days of Christmas, My True Love Gave to me. And then we have the to and from which I love because now I can do tags all year round with it. You can stamp it in solid colors like this which looks beautiful or you can also layer cut out pieces of it in different colors for kind of a fun multicolored look to this stamp. My favorite thing to do with the stamp is the heat embossing we did on the tag today. And what I love this cart this stamp set for is for easy easy to reproduce tags and cards for the holidays. They look really elegant like this heat embossed in silver and making 10 or 15 of these would be pretty easy to do. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!